Our next segment today is about collapsing anchors. Collapsing anchors is a really powerful NLP technique. It allows us to take um, a negative trigger, something, you know, we all have buttons. We talk about that in NLP where somebody can just grate across that button and it gets you a response that's automatic. It's like a body programmed response. And um, it's nice to be able to erase those so that you take control of your own neurology. So we're gonna do an exercise called collapsing anchors. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do with this is we're going to use uh, Carol's hand for this, and I'm going to use the first two knuckles. So if you recall, uh, a little earlier on another segment, we did um, a positive anchor. So I'm just going to touch that right now, mm -hmm. and that's still pretty positive. <laughs> that's pretty so we're going to go ahead and build because we've not erased this trigger. Now, be aware that when we collapse anchors, this anchor will actually disappear. Okay. If I wanted to... Um, stack this so it's always a happy button, I would not want to use it for collapsing anchors. But for this exercise today, since we've already got one there, we're going to add three more positive responses, things that really make you feel in your best state. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to also pick something that you'd like to have erased from your life, something that you want to have a different response to. And we're going to anchor that to the second knuckle just one time. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to fire both of those off at once. And I want you to watch Carol's face when we do that. Okay. All I can say is it's much like riding a roller coaster. Because what happens is that the positive will override the negative response and cause it to blow up in your neurology. And it'll be gone. Okay. And so we're going to do a check on that. Right. So that's what we're about to go through. So what I'd like for you to do right now is um, give me three states that are very positive for you. Because I'm going to have you recall them. And these need to be moments that okay. you can actually very clearly mm -hmm. see. Because I'm going to ask you to be there physically, to visually see what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt. Okay. Okay, so what would be the first state? Um, joyful state. Joyful. Okay. Um, uh, Second state? Um, Excited. Excited? Okay. Okay. And then um, anticipatory. Anticipatory? Just that really excitement of being, yeah. of looking forward to something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. And I know from talking earlier, these are really good ones because I think the anchor you'd like to collapse is the feeling of being unmotivated. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. And you can clearly pull what that feels like. Yes. See a moment when you weren't? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do your positive anchors first. So what I'd like for you to do is to imagine a point of time, a particular um, instance when you felt very joyful. Okay. okay. And I want you to see what you saw, feel what you felt, hear what you heard, and just be fully present there. Okay. So if you notice, I kept my finger in place as she went into that moment, and about the time I saw her shift, I released the anchor. Now what I'd like for you to do is to imagine a time when you felt very excited. <laughs> you were really enjoying that moment. Okay. Okay, you got the excited? See what you saw, mm -hmm. feel what mm -hmm. you felt, mm -hmm. hear what you heard. Fully experience that moment. Okay. Okay. All right. And the last one was anticipatory. So an event that you were so fired up for, you were anticipating so highly. Can you grab that? All right. Feel that moment, mm -hmm. see what you saw, mm -hmm. hear what you heard. Okay, very nice. Okay, so let's just check this. Now, I want you to go ahead, do you smell popcorn? No. Uh, do you, okay, great, well this is good. Again, that's just the break state. Let's go ahead and fire this off and see what we notice. <clears throat> so just keep an eye on Carol's face and watch her body. Nice. Okay, very good. Now, uh, smell popcorn again? <laughs> no popcorn. No popcorn. Darn, I'm going to have to come up with a new one. All right. So what I want you to do now is we're going to use the second knuckle and we're going to do the, uh, an event, something that's fairly, you know, that is a common enough trigger that you'd like to have it released. Okay. And we had shared that it was feeling unmotivated. Yes. So you can access that time at least once? Okay. Yeah. So I want you to drop into that state, see what you saw, feel what you felt, hear, smell, any of the sensory pieces. Okay. 
thank you. And that one she stayed in a little bit longer. It's one that she very much feels. All right, and smell popcorn now? No. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this anchor right now, and I just want you to let me know. Do you feel it? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so we're going to release that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down on both anchors at once with both to my two fingers. As I watch her state change, after a few moments, I'm going to release the negative anchor and let her stay in the positive anchor. This will collapse both anchors and they'll both disappear, and then I'm going to have you share what you felt. Okay. Okay? Okay. So we're ready? Ready. Okay. Okay. All right. Smell popcorn now? No popcorn. No popcorn. <laughs> All right. Can you tell us what that felt like? Um, it felt as if I was, I was, um, my stomach, like on a roller coaster where I was going up really high and then down really low. My stomach came up really high and then I had to breathe in and settle it down because I thought, I was going to upchuck. <laughs> <laughs> well stated. Okay. So now think okay. about that moment <clears throat> when in the past you would have felt unmotivated. Mm -hmm. How do you feel instead? I feel as if it's not an issue. It, it, I can manage to over, overcome it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. That's collapsing anchors.